Hi, I'm Carl March with Lifecycle Engineering, and this is Reliability Made Simple. Today, I will be talking about root cause analysis tool that is best for operators. Within the root cause analysis toolbox, there are many tools available to you. Depending on the circumstances and depending on the level in the organization that these tools are being applied. Some of these you are already aware of and are probably currently utilizing. These may include failure modes and effects analysis, sequence of events analysis, cause and effect or the fishbone diagram analysis, and my personal favorite, the fault tree analysis. One of the simplest tools you'll ever come across in the root cause analysis toolbox is the five whys method, otherwise known as YY analysis. For the purpose of this discussion and use by the operator, I propose a slightly modified approach. This is the should actual five whys method. In this variation, before tracing a problem or defect to its root causes, initial focus is actually spent on determining whether a problem has occurred or is in the process of occurring. I will illustrate this with an example. Let's take, for example, Operator Jim. One of his tasks is to monitor operation of a process tank and its attached equipment. While passing one day, he realizes that the pump motor temperature is operating outside of its normal ranges. To Jim, this is indicative of a problem that has either already occurred or is about to occur. It is worthy of note that at this stage, Jim doesn't know exactly what has caused this problem, but he's made aware and can initiate the relevant mitigating steps. Operators are often the last line of defense before failure occurs. As a result, a feature of the should actual 5Y tool is that it encourages and facilitates the use of the operator's observation skills. So step one in the process is to determine if a problem is occurring by comparing what the asset or process should be doing under normal circumstances to how it is currently performing. Since we know what the asset should be doing, we can look at what it is actually doing. Step two is to take note of the problem as indicated by the difference between the should and the actual. Step three is to ask why the defect or problem is occurring and write the answer down below the problem definition. And finally, step four is to keep asking why until it is reasonably clear that an actionable root cause has been isolated and corrective actions assigned. In this video, we highlighted the operator's role in identifying problems as they occur and how they may solve those problems. We also looked at a root cause analysis tool, the should actual 5Y method. Obviously, to incorporate a tool such as this one into the organizational um, culture, Enabling systems and forms such as the ones shown in, the, in this video can also be adapted. This has been Reliability Made Simple. I am Carl March. Thank you for watching. For more info on this topic, please contact us at info at lce.com.